Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and today I'm really excited to show you my beautiful Alexa wig in Vanilla Bean Blonde by Godiva Secret Wigs. Isn't she fabulous? I love this wig and I've shown you Alexa before in the cinnamon toast colour but I really wanted to show her in this gorgeous blonde and I've got this one too in button up blonde but the Vanilla Bean just really stands out. It's a real summer colour, it's very beautiful, it's very sexy, it's very classy too and it goes fabulously well with yellow and that's why I've worn it today. So I just wanted to show you, I'm going to show inside the cap, I'm going to show you the, the back and show you what we can do with Alexa too. So she's gorgeous and this is one of the longest curly wigs that they do on their, you know, their website. It's a monofilament wig, so sits very low to the head, and it's also got a gorgeous lace front. And you know, the lace fronts of all of Godiva's Secret Wigs wigs are pre-cut, so you don't have to cut them. And you know, I am actually going to be grabbing. I've bought some Amazon wigs, um, and I've got some uh, wigs I got when I was on holiday too. You know that I'm going to be adjusting and customised. I'm going to show you the difference between them two. And a couple I've got, I've got lace fronts on them, but you have to cut the lace yourself. You know, with Godiva Secret Wigs, you don't have to do that. They're ready to ready to wear. You know, you literally take it out of the packet, shake it, and it's good to go. And that's another reason why it's worth it. It's worth the money. It's worth the cost. It's worth the import tax if you're in another country, and. You know, they're just fantastic. So I absolutely love this wig and I know you will too. And, you know, whenever I wear blondes, I just feel I've got this bubbly excitement energy when I wear blondes. And they say blondes have more fun. I don't know if that's true or not. But whenever I wear a blonde wig, I always feel different. You know, I feel a bit more vibrant. I think it's just because I'm used to having darker hair because that's my natural hair. So it feels more normal to me. But when I wear blondes, I feel a bit like I've got a little bit of a spring in my step. My step. So let's talk about Alexa. So Alexa's a long wig. She's very curly. She's very light. You may look at this wig and think, wow, Liz, that's a lot of hair. Does it feel heavy? She doesn't feel heavy. She feels light, you know, and she feels nice. I've actually sewed in three wig clips. I've got two at the front and one at the back. And I do find that when I wear a wig with wig clips you know any of the Godiva's wigs they just fit fit better for me and feel better for me but that's a personal thing you know the wig grip band I was wearing that before with this wig and it was fine it stayed on my head it did what it was meant to but for me I just prefer to have the wig clips in because it gives me the freedom around the ears and around the back of the neck so when you wear the wig grip band it does tend to push it down a little bit so you know you're wearing a wig you know, right now, I don't know I'm wearing a wig. I know I'm wearing a wig because I'm talking about a wig with you. But, you know, if I was just in the kitchen or, you know, do my readings, I forget it's on my head. That's how light it is. A lot different than some of the Amazon, Amazon wigs I've reviewed before with you. And I've got to review with you because they feel heavy. Because, you know, they're, they're not as high quality. These are quality wigs. You get what you pay for. So, you know, if you're looking on their website thinking it's a little bit expensive, you really do get what you pay for. And I can fully 100% recommend them, not just for the quality of the wig, but for the, the service and, you know, the, the quickness of delivery and everything that Godiva Secret Wigs provide. So I just love their wigs. You know, they are my go to company. I just love them. So Alexa, then you can see the length. So first I'm going to get the, the mirror and show you hers look at this first of all and this is a rooted color so for me being naturally dark and obviously i've got dark eyebrows it goes you know it fits it doesn't look fake because you've got the darkness of the roots so it looks very very natural it just looks like maybe i haven't done my roots for a little while you know and that's natural looking so you can see the gorgeous of this color you know, it really is a pretty blonde colour. This is one of my favourite blonde colours that they do. You know, this gorgeous vanilla bean. It's just very beachy. You know, it's the kind of, it's like when you go on the, the beach and you get sun in your hair. And it's like a sun-kissed look. It's very beautiful. So I'll just show you the top there. So you can see again how natural it is because of the monofilament. So, you know, this parting looks like your scalp. You know, and it feels, when you touch it, it feels like your head. It feels like your scalp. It's very natural. 
And then you can see at the back this gorgeous, you know, I've got it all around the front here, but you can see this gorgeous curl. You can see how gorgeous this wig is. And, you know, you have the choice whether you want to pull it around to the, the face or you want to wear it back. You know, and it's however it feels to you. It's very natural either way. You know, there is also natural cutting points on this wig. So if you got this wig and it seemed a bit long for you, you know, you could perhaps cut it there or you could perhaps cut it there. You know, don't be afraid to get the scissors on your wig. It's your wig. Own it. You know, and if you've never had long hair before and you've always wanted long hair, this is such a powerful, you know, option for you because you can just throw on a wig and feel and be somebody else. It's amazing. That's why I love their wigs. So as you can see, I've put little clips in here to hold back the fringe. And this is just while I've been working. I've had this wig on all day and, you know, I've had no issues with this wig all day. The wigs do not itch. They don't cause problems. The only problems I've ever had is when I've worn the wig grip band because I felt it pushing down on my neck and my ears. But I'll speak about that if you go and watch the wig grip band review in the playlist. So for me, my personal experience, which is all trial and error with wigs, sewing in the wig clips has been a much better experience for me. So I've just put a clip in here and I've put a little butterfly clip in here. So you can see how when I take the you know, take it down, it's got a whole different look, you know, you can part this anywhere you want, I just kind of prefer it to be parted at the side, and then put a little clip in, now you don't have to have clips, and I'm going to take a down here, so you can see, you can also cut a bang it, so the reason why this is like this, is because this morning, I actually pulled it over my face, and I thought, oh, I wonder if I could cut a bang in Alexa, and you can, you can cut a bang in it, you can see how it would fall very natural, if you wanted a bang, you just get your scissors and you cut your bang in. Don't be afraid. So that's part of somewhere else, you know, however you want it to be. Or it just takes a little bit of time just raking it through and putting her where you want it to be. So see how straight away, you know, all that feeling of it being in the face is gone. You know, for me personally today, I wanted it parted there and I wanted to clip it back. But if I was going to wear it down, I would just get a little bit of water on my hands and I would just coax it into place where I would want it to be. But for me, this wig, I do like it pinned back. I think it's very beautiful. So I'm going to show you some of the things we can do with her before I take it off and show you the inside. So, you know, if you get a claw clip like this, you know, you can pull it back. So let's say we wanted to have, I mean, let me think about what I can do with this. So I'm going to put the clip back in. And can you see how when I put a clip in, it looks very natural because of the, the rooted colour here. It doesn't look like, oh, I've got dark hair, even though that's my hair there. Because of these side pieces, it's very natural, very natural. And I'm going to put in, I'm going to grab a little bit of the hair here and let's see what we can do. You know, I mean, obviously I'd have to do this in the mirror to get it right, but you could put a clip in it to clip it back, you know my necklace let me take my necklace off because it's getting stuck in my wig and if you do put jewelry on make sure you put your jewelry on before you put on your wig trial and error i've had to learn that the hard way because your earrings can get stuck in your wig if you put them on um after and you know you can get your hair stuck in um the necklace if you put it on after if you put it on before it's all done for you so the thing I love about Alexa as well, she's very natural looking. See how this is very natural? It's like I've just literally gone up and thrown my hair up. It's natural. It doesn't look fake because I haven't took time styling her. I've just grabbed bits and just shoved it up and that makes it look natural. You know, other things you can do, you know, you could put it into pigtails. You know, I wear pigtails a lot with some of my wigs as well. You know, when I'm going out because I just like it. It's fun. You could put her in a side ponytail you know, a low side ponytail. So I've got a little white bobble because white goes really nice with blonde too. You always find if I wear white and I wear blonde, it looks really pretty. And, you know, I've just kind of clipped that bit back there. So I've still got a little bit around my face. And I love the fact that this bang is very long, you know, so it feels nice. It kind of falls nice around the face and it frames your face nicely. And then I've got this little kind of bang the other side and then I can just wear it in a side pony. You know, if I was going to work out, obviously I do YouTube, so I work from home. But if I was going out to an office or, you know, I was going out to work, 
this is definitely how I'd wear this style. You know, if I was wearing this wig out, I'd definitely wear it like this because it's out of your eyes, it's out of your face, and it's pretty. You know, it's so pretty, and I just love Alexa. You know, you can do so many things. You don't even have to wear it in, you know, a scrunchie. You can just put it like that. You know, and she's just so natural. Love her. And I've worn Alexa, I've worn this one to a Madonna tribute. And I, I wore this wig and I felt so sexy and sassy in it. You know, I felt a bit like Madonna, to be honest. And I wore like, you know, I dressed up a bit like Madonna with boots and, you know, I put some lace on, I got the cross on. So I felt like it. It was really cool. But I've worn Alexa out too, you know, just for normal occasions. I've been to Starbucks in these wigs. You know, and it's funny because whenever I go into my local Starbucks, the people are always looking at me, what wig? I've just been on holiday and... I told reception, you know, when I checked in, I said, by the way, I wear wigs, so you're going to see a few wigs, and I was coming down constantly in different wigs, I was wearing a wig for breakfast, I was wearing a wig to go out, and I, I talked about Erin, I wore my Erin wig, and I wore a wig for dinner every day, so, I, you know, I was wearing all kinds of wigs, and reception were like, wow, they were loving it, even the people at the next table, because every day we sat at the same table for dinner, the people at the next table, the lady said to me, I'm just astonished by these wigs. She says, it's exciting every day to see what wig you're going to wear. So, you know, they're fun. They're so much fun. So I really can recommend this gorgeous wig. What else could you do with her? Put her up. Put her up. You can have her up and down. Up and down's really pretty and sexy. You know, my mum used to have her hair up and down a lot. And she had long hair like this. Or you could put it up, you know, however you wanted to. The thing is with the wigs, you know, you can't really put them up high because you'd know it was a wig, you know, because of the back of the wig. Because it can, when you put it up, it's, it can be, you know, like a little, not bulky, but you'd probably, you'd be aware, you know, that, oh, is it sticking out? Is my own hair sticking out? But you could easily do this. Look at this I've just created. Look at this I've just created. So ignore this side a minute. Let me just pin that bit up because I like what I've just done with that there. Now, all I've got to do here is take down that little piece, okay, and kind of, I've just kind of pin it here, do something with it here. So obviously, you know, it looks a bit crazy there because I've pulled the wig around, even though it's got the wig clips on. But, you know, you could do anything with it. You could really take some time or you could go to a hairdresser. Say if you were getting married or you were going to an event, you could put this wig on and go to your hairdresser and get them to put it up because it's like real hair. Obviously, it's synthetic, you know, but when you touch it, it feels like your own hair. It's very natural. So there's many, many things that you could do with this wig, but I just love her. So let me know in the comment section what you think. And the colour is just absolutely stunning. I just love her so much. And, you know, this is probably one of my favourite long ones, along with my other wig, the carry wig I showed you from Selfridges. But even that one, it's got a totally different feel. You know, these wigs are something else. You know, they it's like they're, they're from another planet. So I just love them that much, you know. So let's undo her and I'll show you how I've sewn in the wig clips. So I've put three in. So when I take her off, because of where the wig clips are, I just put my thumb underneath the front of the wig to unclip the front two. And then at the back where the wefts are, I just put my thumbs inside and then unclip that one. And then to pull it off, I just pull it forward and back. And when the wig is off. Now you may have noticed something different going on with my hair. Well, I've actually washed it today and it's like a big mop. But when I was on holiday in Torquay, it was red hot weather. And I speak about that in my previous video where I reviewed the little Erin wig that I was able to wear in the heat. And my hair was growing, as you know, it was probably down here. And it was, I couldn't stand it. I could not stand it in the heat. It just felt huge. So I went to a hairdresser's and she cut my hair. And I quite like it because you guys know that I want to grow in my natural white, my natural grey colour. Because I'm hoping it's going to be like a gorgeous salt and pepper colour you know, when it comes through. And I'm really excited as well because Godivers have bought out a new colour. I think it's called Smoky, Smoky Quartz or something like that. It isn't available just yet, but they're in the process of launching it. And it's a salt and pepper colour. It's like 50-50 grey and, and brown. So it looks amazing. 
so you can see how it's becoming a lot more you know kind of salt and pepper so i wanted it cut shorter so i can still wear my wig but it feels like you know it's oh it just feels so much nicer to be lighter so that's what's going on with my hair if you're thinking oh has your hair changed liz that's why so when i'm putting a wig on i always get a band like this and i put it into a low ponytail and i put it around one two three times and on the third time i make a little bun and that bun is like an anchor for the bottom of the wig so it holds the wig on secure and obviously all my hair is back so you know nothing's gonna come out of the wig there so this is alexa so first of all you can see the gorgeous color i mean isn't the color just stunning this gorgeous blonde and you can see if i if i move my fingers you've got the wefting at the back which i'm going to show you inside in a minute but at the top you can kind of see my fingers through the scalp because that's how it's meant to be because that means that you know it's very real looking so let's turn her inside out and you can see so you've got the godiva's label at the back there which are really good because it shows you how to put the wig on you've got this gorgeous wefting so you've got all that kind of freeness at the back of the head so you know all that lightness and that breathable you know kind of energy so it feels like there's air getting to your head you don't feel hot when you're wearing her and you've got this gorgeous monofilament at the front and then you've got the lace here now when i put the wig clips in as you can see there's wig clips in this here you know i sewed these in myself so it's a bit of a bodge job but you know i'm getting better that's the main thing so when i put clips into alexa i put two at the front and one at the back there just to give it their extra added security and they just clip in and out like this so you've got the two there i don't put it anywhere near the lace i don't want to mess with the lace I don't want to damage the lace at all which remember is pre-cut so you haven't got to do that yourself and i just put them at both side and then one at the back there but this is monofilament it's very powerful because it, it's like your own hair you know these wigs honestly there's something else they're a bit magical these wigs whenever i get a box of wigs and i'm really excited because i've ordered a few more as well and i'm going to be doing a big christmas order i'm even thinking about giving a wig away as well you know maybe in the new year maybe when i hit a thousand subscribers on here we'll see i'm going to be giving a good iris wig away and i don't mean one of my old wigs because i want all mine i will order a wig that i'm going to give away so that's something to look forward to but these wigs are something else so whenever i get you know a new wig or i get a box of theirs i just feel like a kid on christmas morning it's really exciting especially as a 46 year old woman so we're going to put alexa on together so you know you can see as well at the bottom you've got these bra strap type adjusters which just make the bottom um looser or tighter depending on your head and how you want to wear it at the time so i do like these a little bit tighter now when i first had the wigs i never used to mess with them because i used to wear the wig band and obviously the wig grip band grips it to your head it's like super gluing it to your head it just doesn't move but when you've got wig clips in it's better to adjust the back just so it's got that added security at the bottom so whenever you're putting a wig on you get your hair ready and then you put your thumbs at the bottom of the wig you know with godiva's wigs they've got this label so you know where it is so you're not going to make a mistake and put it on lopsided or wrong so when you're putting your wig on it's like you put your head into the wig you know you don't just pull the wig on you put your head into it so you put the top of the wig about there and then you're going to pull it up so i'm going to show you how i do it so i pull it down at the back and i just tuck in my hair and then you can see the wigs like this so obviously you're not going to want to wear it like this you want to get it right so i get my hands and i flick it back now i find the two ear tabs at the side and i pull them down so they are central and in alignment with my ears and they you know they, they come down so they're not sticking out they're coming flat to the head and that gives it the you know the shape and it also makes it look more natural but really it's just making sure your wigs on straight and then you can see you've got this gorgeous lace front here which looks totally natural totally natural so it doesn't matter what color you are it fits in with your head and then you just pull it up to your natural hairline so mine's about there it's not that far up because you know with the bigger wigs they do move up a bit faster than the smaller wigs you know when you put a smaller wig on you know a, a short wig you can you you know it probably comes up then then you pull it up more but because these have got a lot of hair they do naturally go back so now i'm going to snap in my clips because i've got it where i want it 
here that one two and the one at the back i put my thumb underneath and i do it that way to snap it in okay i hadn't totally i hadn't unclipped it so i snap it back in there so you can see now the wig it's only my forehead that's moving there the wig is completely gripped to my head so that's how good these little wig clips are and you can get them from Godiva Secret Wigs, but they are a bit more expensive. Or you can just buy a pack of 50 from Amazon like I did for like $8.99. So, and then you just learn like I did how to sew them in. And then you can just style Alexa however you want it to be. You know, you can just mess with it. You know, you don't have to do anything with this wig. You don't need a comb, a brush. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to get the curl out. You just want to use your fingers as a little rake or a comb and you just style her however you want her to be, you know, just get her however you want her to be. And the wig just naturally goes into this style. So, you know, if you don't like all this hair around your face, you know, remember, it's not going to be like this. This is because I've just plonked it on my head and I've had it in clips today. But, you know, if you take time to maybe get a little bit of water on your hands and, you know, move it back and get it how you want it to be, maybe even use some wig um, spray, like some wig hairspray, it will style exactly how you want it to be. I know so many people like it like this, you know, so and it's so much easier for me to have it down with the wig clips because it feels more natural than having a wig grip band on that pushes it further into my face. But for me, I'm just a natural clip person so for me you know i would want to put a little clip in here which looks beautiful i mean look how pretty that is so i've still got the bang that frames the face but you know it's took all the weight away from my face so it shows my face and then here you know like today i just got a little you know a little um i was going to say rainbow clip a little butterfly clip and then i just put that in here and it just holds that weight back I mean, look how natural that is, how quick it is to get this wig into the style that you want to wear her. So she's absolutely gorgeous. And I know I've shown you Alexa before, but, you know, the wigs feel different in all the different colours. And I have got this one too in Button Up Blonde. So, you know, sometime in the future, I will be wearing that too. But this is Alexa in Vanilla Bean. I think it's Vanilla Bean R colour. The description is in the link below. The, li the link is in the description below. And, you know, if you want to see any of these wigs in action, if you head over to Godiva Secret Wigs YouTube channel, it's on my featured channels and all their website, you know, it's all the information's there. You see Danny and Rochelle wearing the wigs and showing you the wigs and they're just gorgeous. But look at it. And I love how she's got this kind of flyaway curl. It's very natural. So it's a big wig, but it's gorgeous. And I love it. It's very classy and beautiful. And, you know, I went into my boyfriend this morning, you know, before I started work on my other channel, Guided by Angels, and he said, you just look so beautiful, you know, and blonde is just really pretty and beautiful. So all the colours are, but this one is just, it's got something a bit special going on with it. I hope you enjoyed this, sending you lots of love, have a great day, and I'll see you soon.